This is Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, drying my socks. Oh, huh. I I decided to wash some of them out in a in a sink so as to get the well the dead skin cells off of them. And being that poor homeless American citizen that's an indigent poach pauper. Oh, huh, the national of the United States. Yeah. Uh, this concept of attempting service on somebody other than the respondent, we talked about that after you had served me in the, in the Squim Port Angel, the Squim Library, yes. And then you actually did serve somebody other than the respondent and happened to be, um, well, I don't know who the individual is, but I know it's against the law because only the respondent can be served if the petitioner does not appear in court and does not acknowledge the court hearing, uh, the court order, yes. Uh, you are obligated to dismiss the case. Now, you would say, well, he can't talk to his sons, but I didn't get notice of court hearings before the dissolution of marriage. In fact, I never got a dissolution of marriage, so as far as I know, I am allowed to talk to them. <laughs> and as their dad, I would walk into that high school and I'd say, listen, mm -hmm, are you playing stupid again today? Because I didn't give consent for them to go to school. Now, I was on the phone with a deputy marshal that doesn't understand that when it says you can't deprive Americans of life, liberty, and property without due process of law, and the RCWs of the state of Washington require proof of service five judicial days prior to having court hearings, and you have to have proof of service in the court file. You can't just say, well, we tried to serve the guy and we couldn't, so we're going to issue it anyway. <laughs> now, I have a real problem with judges that think that I don't have any rights. In fact, there's probably quite a few Americans that are having to dry their socks outside. Oh, <laughs> you know, it makes me think that it's almost winter and I spent all summer sitting here explaining to you what the law says. <laughs> Maybe you could get me the food banks today. Was somebody going to cut off welfare so that we're all going to starve? And then, well, we will all be washing our clothes in uh, convenience store uh, sinks. Yes. Now, I'm familiar with Lifeline. Yes. And the food bank system. I had volunteered at two different food banks. One was called Welcome to One Life. Yes. When we lived in Vancouver, I was a volunteer at a food bank. And... We were really believing God for good things back then. Do you remember that, Heidi, when we lived at 2204 McLaughlin Street? <clears throat> we never went without. In fact, we did eat really good. But at that time, I thought volunteering so that I could, as a father, have the first choice yes, of the foods available to the community. Because that was kind of the deal. When you volunteer... <clears throat> And you stock the shelves and you help the people that go to the food bank. You yourself, as a volunteer, you get to have some food yourself. Yeah. And I tried to get the organic meats, pooch, and the gourmet. Ah. I tried to make sure that my sons were always eating the best of foods. Well, what happened was we moved to Airway Heights. Yes. And we were house sitting for Bill Thompson. And I volunteered at the Medical Lake Food Bank. And I actually got letters of recommendation from. Ooh, Oh, oh, from the Medical Lake Food, you, you know that letter of recommendation that says you're a fine, upstanding citizen? Yeah. Well, when you don't give me any actual notice or opportunity to be heard and you say that I'm crazy for you, uh, want, <laughs> for me wanting you to enforce the actual laws and then you continue to uh, enroll my sons in school without my consent one of those days where I'm going to sue the fucking shit out of everybody involved. Now, <laughs> this concept of you can't have a court hearing without the individual being served, and you cannot deliberately act like you attempted service when you really did not want to serve the person. Yes. And you cannot execute the court order by giving it to someone that has no legal right to serve the person. Yes. And then you can't serve somebody on August 27th that I personally don't know who the fuck the fuck 